So we just checked into our Airbnb. It's at a very convenient location. And now we're wandering the streets of Venice. We're approaching the Rialto Bridge. It is one of four bridges that's in the Grand Canal. It connects San Marco, San Marco, which I think is over there. And this is San Paolo. And it's the oldest of the four bridges that are here. Constructed in the 12th century. And just like the Ponte Vecchio that we visited earlier, in Florence. there's Yes, there's stores on both sides, the shopping area. So we're gonna go walk in the middle now. Not quite as expensive stores as the Ponte Vecchio, but still prime real estate. It's like a lot of like small little mom and pop shops. Little boutique shops. <laughs> So earlier, Matt with our gigantic suitcase was running down these stairs. So pretty tiring. Up and down. Yeah, we went up and then down. There's no ramps here. It was a breeze. How was it? 50 pound suitcase. A few people laughed at me. Got your weightlifting in for the year. Yep. So there's absolutely no cars. That's why we took the Vivarito earlier. And some of these places are just like right on the water. But I guess it's accessible by land too, like our Airbnb. right under the famous hand that we saw while we were um, on the Vibaredo well, going to our station. These hands are rice from the Grand Canal and it's done by Lorenzo Quinn. It symbolizes a uh, support that we should all you know put together and because the city of Venice is at risk of disappearing because of climate change and so put these hand up as a symbol of support all right so we are at this restaurant off of one of the canals in venice called the gloria bar contino Pontini. Pontini. and it's a seafood restaurant as a lot of restaurants are in venice and I got the wait now is about an hour long currently, so we got here just in time. We're able to get an outdoor seat with a beautiful view. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so I got the spaghetti a la scoglio, which is a bunch of seafood, basically seafood spaghetti. It has clams, prawns, and mussels, and, and a tomato, and fresh tomatoes. And I got my naki, of course, in uh, ragu sauce. And I also ordered a side of, um, let's see, it's called Cotoleta de Vitello a la Milanese. <laughs> the roast beef steak breaded calf homemade cutlet that will be coming up second. Mm. And you also got wine. Oh, yeah. Got house wine. Two euros. Only 20 cents more than a bottle of water. Let's see. Cheers. You're not supposed to drink wine like that. Whatever. Don't make something. See how it tastes? I love Naki. I love how soft it is. Well, it's like soft filling. Spaghetti tastes fresh. 
Carry your bar panini. Pontini. <laughs> Pontini. <laughs> How much? 43 euros for my gnocchi and your spaghetti and the fried steak and a glass of wine and a glass or no bottle of water. <laughs> it is very very good. But make sure wine. Yeah, if you guys want to come here. Should probably do a reservation. Like we got lucky, but the line got long. Like right after we sat down, so. That's the train stop. I mean, that's the Wait, burrito stop. We take it. So we don't have to walk. Okay, so we're at this restaurant that's near our Airbnb. It's called Trattoria Pizzeria Al Campanile. Yes. Um, so I had too much for lunch today. Um, so right now all I want is a salad <laughs> so that I can, um, yeah. Tip salad? Too much. Raw shrimp salad. Just simple, like, little tiny shrimp. Here. I got a shrimp dish too. And then uh, tagliatelle with shrimp and veggies. Looks like there's some, uh, some peppers in here, I think some carrots. Mm. Shrimp is nice and soft. Yeah, I'm pretty full from lunch too, so I think it's too big of a dish. I don't know what type of sauce they use for this tagliatelle, but. Oh, I think it's tagliolini actually. But I think it's some sort of olive oil based. I think it's pretty hard to mess up a salad, Bob. So, yeah, pretty good. So, tomorrow we will be going to St. Mark's Square in the Doge's Palace. And then it's day well, two. Tonight we're gonna search for some good, like, night spots for photography. So apparently at night all the tourists leave to go back to the mainland. I heard <laughs> to it's very safe hotels. in Venice at night. So we're gonna do some exploring tonight. Okay, so we left Al Campanile and how much is it? 39.50 euros. <laughs> With the, uh, so about like 48 dollars. My salad, his pasta, and my drink, my, I mean my water, and his soda, and then the cupretto. Um, 
So most places in Italy will have what's called the coperto, so it's like a cover charge. Kind of, I guess they say no, you don't, you don't need to tip here, but they kind of recover the tip through that cover charge. Right. This place too is okay. It was like 150 per person. Another place that we ate at was 180 per person, but the most expensive, I guess it was that seafood restaurant that we went to when we first got to Venice. It was five euros per person. So it was 10 euros extra on top. So be careful of that. 